the road The ground underneath my boot heels Burns right through my soul Right through my weary soul Wildfire travels on a wayward wind Through a field of broken dreams Your memory flies to my restless heart On fallen angels' wings And I wish I could have stayed I wish I could have changed But a rambler man is a rambler man By any other name By any other name All right, so which way do you think she is from here? Angled up this way. Up this way? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Let me see, what, see which way she thinks better, or what way you think she's hiding. Okay. Yeah. When it fades that much, I think you may have passed her. Come back up a little bit. It's getting louder. Mm-hmm. There you go. You passed her. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. Yep. Thought you saw a critter. No. Now that tells tell, tells you what when it's that close and you're that close obviously. Yeah. You think she's right up there? Yeah. Let him try. Since you're so close. So we're tracking Catherine. I just released her yesterday after I put a new transmitter on her shell. And so this is maybe the last day we locate her this year before she goes into hibernation. It's really strong straight ahead, isn't it? Just look at the ground as you come up the hill. She's going to blend in with these leaves very well. She could be anywhere right in here. Why don't you come straight up through this little gap and then I'll adjust your receiver just a little bit. Because I walked through there, I didn't see her. I think you're good to go. Coming straight between those two little trees. Yeah, there's some thorns up here. how loud that is it's just right here she may not have moved very much at all from yesterday literally I released her right here yesterday yeah I don't see her okay swing towards me a little yeah it's still really strong come right up to here See what you get from there. Huh. Okay. Is she right beside me? Yeah. Come in under there. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to take over. Because right. when we get this close, it gets kind of tricky sometimes. Hmm. Ah. Oh wow, she's uphill. Okay. All right, we found her. She's down in these briars. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right there. 
You can see your new transmitter. Okay, now I need to pull her out of there so we can wear because I was not able to wear yesterday. So I'll pull her out. All right, so I'm getting Catherine so that we can weigh her. And she's not going to like this, I know, but we got to do it. Got to get her weight before hibernation. Here she comes. You hold her for a minute. Now you're holding Catherine, the box turtle. Yay. Oh, there's a spider on her. Mm hmm. Oh, there That's her brand new transmitter. Right there. And it feels like it's nice. It was tacky yesterday when I brought her back out here, but now it's nice and dry. All right. Now here comes the hat. Drop her in the hat. She probably, she shouldn't go anywhere. You want to kind of hold her for a minute while you hook her in. Yeah, here comes the rain. Hook her in right there. Just hook it to that. Cause she'll try to take off running in a minute. Now just let go and let it totally drop. Don't let it touch any plants. So what are you getting? Between 590 and 600. Between 590 and 600? Between, right between 590 and 600? Yeah. yeah, 590 and 600. Okay, 595. 595. All right, bring her up here. Okay, hold her. Okay. Now, what we have to do is make sure we weigh the hat and subtract that from everything. And it is... One forty-five. So this may be the last time we see Catherine for this year. So goodbye, Catherine. We'll see you next spring. We're going to put her back. Right. Putting her. Okay, we're putting her back directly into the hole that I removed her from. Go on, scoot back under there. That's exactly where she was. See you later, Catherine. Five hundred ninety-five minus one forty-five is four fifty. Four fifty. Four fifty. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the help. Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything? Yes, I did. Excellent. Well, next year we'll come back and find her again. Yes. This makes your third year, right? Uh, yes. Cool. Third year turtle trackers. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Let's go find Jimmy. I think she's down in there. Well, he. <laughs> yeah, I think he's down here in the forest. Could be wrong, that's a really strong signal you're getting there, isn't it? Yeah. He may be here in the grass. So swing around, see, see what your strongest direction is. down the valley and see what we find. It's tall grass, your feet will get a little damp, but yeah, just when you, if you get a really strong signal, let me know. Ah, back up there, isn't it? Well, head up there and see. He spends a lot of time up there near the edge of the forest, so that would make sense. And if he, he's come a long way if he is up here, because it's been only, been only a week since I released him with his new transmitter. Hmm. 
All right, let's go. Okay, hang on just a second, guys. Look up. All right, all right, guys, find that turtle. Okay. That was nice. I remember last year's right in there in like that bush. That's right. She, he's often in this bushy area. That's a pretty strong signal. Why don't you walk up here, and I will adjust it a little bit down to help you narrow down where he is. Wow, listen how much it faded. Swing back around. Oh wow. He's either in the bush here or over there. <laughs> See if you can find him. Where is that elusive box turtle hiding? We will find him. It is. And you know why? He hibernates right in this area. He's pro he might already be in his hibernation area for this year. So would we be able to weigh him? Or? Yes, hopefully, as long as he's not totally buried. So what do you think? Like the, yeah. Same. Really loud. Same thing like This there. is, yep. They're like there. Mm-hmm. Very loud right in here. Let me adjust that again. You gotta do a full 360 and pick the loudest beat. Ooh, that's a pretty loud hit right there. Yeah. yeah. Have to go with it. So walk straight ahead. Oh, kind of thick up in here. I may have to take over from you since we're getting into the thick. All right. Now see, this is the zone where he typically hibernates. Is on the side of this hill here. So I would say, I would say we're pretty close. See if I point that way, fades. Come back this way, very loud, very loud. Fades again. I think he's right up in, in that scrub. So I'm gonna go in there and dig around for him and see if I can find him. Straight up, man, this is so thick. Oh wow, right there. I found him. Oh, yeah. 
I was almost standing on him, but he was down between my feet farther down. Oh. All right, got to get him out of there now and bring him over to let you guys see him so that we can weigh him. Last weight of the year. Yay. All right. Before he goes into hibernation. Now, let me show you where he is. First, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to set the GPS and all up, and I'll bring him down to you guys and we'll weigh him. Set up my thermometer. How, fo how far has he moved? about to tell you that. i got to set the GPS up. I'm guessing about 250 feet. A good ways. All right, so we've brought Jimmy down here out of the forest, and we're going to weigh him really quick and then get him back into the woods. Go ahead. Put him in the hat. He'll try to crawl out, so keep him from crawling out. Now hurry up and read the, the reading before he crawls out. Uh, 605. 605? 605 or 610. It'll bounce a little bit. So somewhere between 605. Oh, God, he's trying to get out. Grab him, grab him, grab him. 610. 610? Okay, pull him out, and let's weigh the hat, and then we'll get his weight. The hat's 145. 610 minus 145 is... No, stop flying. 610 minus 145. Josh! 465. 465, nice. Yes. 465. All right. Good wait for Jimmy before going into hibernation for the end of the year. 465. Cool, guys. Thanks. Now let's put him back. Oh, wait. Let's let Josh check him out. Josh. It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. You're on film, Josh. What? You're on film. Yeah, man. You're on film again because you've done this before, haven't you? No. Yes, you have. You've tracked turtles before. No. Really? Well, come over here and check Jimmy out then. Well, you see that little thing on his back? Go up there and check him out. That little thing on his back? Yeah. That's a transmitter, and that sends out a signal that is then picked up by my receiver, which is the antenna that we were using. Come on. And go up and check him out. Get in the picture. He's orange. He's very orange. I like it when he claws at you. Just don't stand on the metal, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, because that's a snake habitat. Crap. Yeah. yeah. Snakes alone so how do I get up? All right, we'll look and see. Just don't stand on it. Jump over it. Jump, Josh, jump. Wah. All right. He's clawing at me. No. He will kind of claw at you a little, but he won't really hurt you. I touched his head. Did you? Yes. Cool. No. All right, you three guys get together, and I'll get a picture of all of you. Just don't stand on that book down there. Watch where you're stepping. Don't claw at me. Where's Austin? <laughs> sure. Close in, man. Close in. All right. So this is probably the last time you're going to see Jimmy this year as well, because I found him only about 10 feet from the site where he hibernates. So I think he's getting ready to dig in, just like Catherine. What a gorgeous turtle. My gosh, look at his color. Absolutely beautiful, Jimmy. You are one beautiful turtle. All right, let's put you back in your little hidey hole. Now, just to get back up there is gonna be a challenge. on my belly. So this is exactly where I found Jimmy and I'm going to put him right back in his hole. In his little hidey hole here. Right in the exact same way that he was oriented. Okay, there. And he's back in his hole. Let's see if we can see him. There he is. See you later, Jimmy. Maybe next week. Maybe next spring. Have a good hibernation. I'm going to put a few leaves down in there just to help insulate him from the evening. It's about the way it was when I found it. Okay. Fall is here.